Oh. Yeah, you gotta take out the Antoids behind him. Because he's, he's just gonna keep getting healed. Okay. Alright, Weston's playing for a minute. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. So we're gonna wander around those guys too. And we're gonna sneak up on this Did guy. Did you beat the boss? No. I don't know why that counted as an ambush. I was in front of him. Weston. Cool. You are getting your ass fucking creamed. Apparently. I'm gonna get my ass reamed by a black antoid. I can warn around this guy. Oh! Um, oh, come, what? You know our friend Antoine? Yes. Does he watch our videos? I don't know if he watches them, but he knows we exist. It's not exactly the same thing. Hang on. You gotta, you gotta let me play now. When you die, does it like, does it reserve your level? Yes, it does. Cool. Let me play. All right. You got sweaty hands, bro. I know. I can tell just based on how hot the controller is. Really? Yeah. Yeah, dude. I get really sweaty hands. I don't know why. Like, that's the thing is, like, I get sweaty hands when I play, like, platformers and any game that requires, like, a lot of movement. But, like, as far as RPGs go, I, I feel like my hands don't get that sweaty. I get really into any game that I'm playing. That's fair. I don't know. It's, like, it's kind of a blessing and a curse at the same time. It's more of a blessing than you think it is because, like, a lot of people have a really hard time, like, getting immersed in shit. So, I, I would consider it that, like, a blessing. That's one thing I've always, like, kind of liked about my experience playing games is, like, I can really get into the atmosphere of things. It's too bad that you don't play a lot of games that I've played because I could definitely recommend a lot of very, like, immersive games But the thing is, like, I know that you. I need to do that. Like, there are well, games that, you, like, that you've like you recommended to that's me. That's the like, thing. Like, through this channel, like, I don't know if I would ever actually take the time to pick up Thracia, but through this channel, I definitely think that I'll take the time to play it with you. And, the and, thing is, and like, I've... Weston actually had this idea for a series on the show where I would play, like, a really hard Fire Emblem game while completely fucking baked, and that would be, like, a solo series. So, like, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, and, like, that would... Honestly, like, if anybody wants to watch that series and enjoy it, that's fine. But, like, I, I want to say that that series is mostly for Weston's enjoyment. And I'm really excited I about that. Enjoy it. The thing is, I definitely want to play Thracia together. Because I'm, I'm, like, for context here, I'm coming, like, fresh off the rails with Genealogy the Holy War. Which and is... And that this game is, took okay, me so this is this is literally ever. this is just this this opinion is just based on watching Weston play it. Like literally Weston would play it on his fucking days off, like and he would put so many fucking hours into it. And first of all, that game is fucking long. And that game has cutscenes that are fucking long. And like, that's all I can say, is that just, like, that game is ridiculously fucking long for a fucking Super Nintendo game. Like, that game had to have been, like, The Witcher 3 of the fucking 90s. Like, that game is just, the like, thing is, stupidly long. Genealogy, like, it's considered to be, like, the holy grail of, like, what it is to play a Fire Emblem game to a lot of people. Because, like, like I said, like, I, I can I, imagine, I'm, I'm yeah. the type of person, I get really... I get really invested in games that I'm playing. So in a world, like, in Genealogy of the Holy War, where it's like, it's so heavy on the politics of the world, like, that sort of stuff is like, it's so easy for me to get into. You know what I mean? Like, it kind of like, puts me in like, the protagonist shoes almost. Because like, stuff like that is revealed to you as you play. Um, on that topic of being in the protagonist shoes, I am still, and like, if if in the comments anybody knows of a game that they could recommend to me where this is the case. You know, let's use, let's use the skip sandwich after these guys. Okay. Like, let's, let's just get out of here. I am still fucking waiting, after all these years, for a game that has the protagonist's name as Alex. There are so many movies where the protagonist's name is Alex, but I feel like there are so few games where that's the case. Like, yeah. am I wrong? No. Have you ever played a game where the fucking protagonist's name is Alex? No. It is one of the most common names in the US and every fucking English-speaking country's dialect. And I do not have a fucking game, rep rep like, representing me. So the skip sandwich... <laughs> skip sandwich, it makes you run really fast. And we get ambushed. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I have a fucking feeling that you're gonna have to take over. 
We're, we're one-shotting these guys. It doesn't matter. The thing is, the problem is these guys outspeed us, but we one-shot them. Like, look at how fast you're going. Okay. Here's where I want to recommend that we do. Let's farm this area. Like, go inside and then go back out, because I'm pretty sure that magic butterfly respawns. Alright, so we're back. And I'm gonna go fucking take on the boss. Check our PSA. I think we're full. But, I just wanna be sure. 37 XP off of an auto battle. That is insane. Okay, we're gonna trance this guy. I would just, like, as soon as you get up there, use PSI Yellow and just wipe out those guys behind him. <laughs> Climb the rope. <laughs> the animation's really funny. <laughs> D dude, did you ever have that experience when you were, like, playing this game? And you were, like, so fucking paranoid about shit that you, like, thought these guys were enemies? Like, the, these two, these two fucking innocent rocks right here. Yes. Okay. I just wanted to know that somebody was in the okay, same check our stats. Uh-oh. Take it from me, if you dare. I'm pretty sure every Sanctuary boss in this game says that line. So use yellow, because we want to take out the guys behind him. Because the thing is, those guys, are they're just going to keep healing him. That's all they're going to do. Don't bring your PSI, bro. How did he not go down from that? Wow, okay. So Titanic Ant is the biggest fucking pushover we've ever encountered on this channel. Kind of a mediocre level up, but we'll we'll take it. We'll take it. Hi kitty. Hi kitty kitty kitty. I'm gonna lay down on you. Now for all you listeners that smoke that pretty thing. music. You gotta fucking, you, you gotta pause the video and and light up. Star of a small Stoopy cute puppy caught a glimpse of a small cute puppy. It's Nanook. I need to include a picture of him in this video now. You ever want to suck on that giant step's toes? Because I do. I thought you'd never ask. I will always ask if there's toe sucking involved. All right, Footmaster at 420. All right, now we start. Okay, so we're gonna go down to the police station. We're gonna meet the officer there and see what his whole idea is about. Because the thing is, he can't arrest us because we're a minor. But like, technically, the police can arrest you if you're a minor. They'll just put you in like juvie, and then you'll get like fucked up for the rest of your life. Social commentary. By Gaspacho. For the record, I don't, I, I, I don't know what actually goes on in Juvie, so... You know, I'm just basing it off that one video that I saw. It's like the, really like the emo kid. You're like, see you in Juvie, bitch! See you in Juvie, bitch! <laughs> Have you seen that? <laughs> and then he says the N-word and then he gets his ass kicked. <laughs> That video makes me happy. Yeah, I've seen that video. Where is the police station? By the arcade. Hang on, pull up the map again. <laughs> it's like fucking like looking at Google Maps is like food. Food. <laughs> <laughs> I do love how Google Maps always assumes that the first thing that you're going to want is food. It's a human need. Okay, alrighty guys, I'm gonna let Alex take the reins here.